And so just about set here for the kickoff of the second half. Of course, the Mustangs will receive as they kicked off to start the first half. Aquinas on that opening possession struck right away, and then Mustangs were able to answer. But then from then on, it's been all St. Thomas Aquinas on the offensive end, but you can't say that the Mustangs haven't had their opportunities in this game, and that's got to be the one bright spot when you tell your team, if you're the head coach of the Mustangs, John McCall, you got to say, hey, we had our opportunities. We've proven we can move the ball on the St. Thomas Aquinas team. We just have to execute when it comes time into the red zone, and that's where this team struggled. So we'll see what happens here as the Mustangs are getting ready, set to receive. Back deep will be Hunter Kinnon, our running back on this team. And also back there is Devin Warren. And kicking off will be Joe Pyle for Aquinas. So here we go. As we mentioned, a Thursday night game here on 810 Varsity. Fall night here, a little chilly, and a light crowd on hand, really. Both sides, Aquinas has brought a pretty impressive group compared even to the home crowd as the kick is away. And that's going to be Kinnon picking it up right around the 17-yard line, cutting across now across the 25 and getting close to the 30 before he's drugged down by the shoulder pads there, right around, we'll call it the 27-yard line, and that's where the Mustangs will stand. So Kinnon started and cut all the way across, but he's dragged down. And this could be a huge drive of the game, one way or the other, even for both teams. You look at Aquinas, you come up with a stop here, you can really kind of start to play the game tempo-wise what you want to play and kind of stretch this one out to the end. For the Mustangs, you got a chance really to get back in this football game. It's going to be Gotch out of the shotgun formation in his halfback, Zach Love. The tailback, two wide receivers on the far side, Sigler and Bagsby, near side Mark Rutger. Quickly looking on the far side of the field, over to Sigler, he's got his man. Oh, no, it's going to be incomplete. Let's see what they call if he had possession or not. They're going to say he had a position and then fumbled the ball out of bounds. So, they surprise I didn't know if he had possession fully, but they say he took a couple of steps, and luckily for him, that ball rolled out of bounds. But the St. Thomas to Qantas sideline motioning still for incomplete, and now the refs will meet to kind of decide here if he had that possession, because that's the question. The ball did get fumbled out of bounds, so it's now they're going to rule it incomplete. The referee says it is incomplete now, and Sigler kind of hands up in the air to the referee, wondering what the issue was, and a kind of a delayed call there. So it's going to be second and ten for the Mustangs, as that's ruled incomplete. So Cale Gotch, the senior, will have to come up with something here again. And it's going to be Hunter Kinnon in the backfield. Two wide receivers on the near side. It's Rucker on the far side. Now looking at the sideline for the call from the coach. Dropping back to pass. Can be gotcha. Now trying to dump it off to his tail. Back it off the fingertips, fingertips of Hunter Kinnon. He had some room to run out on the flat. And maybe his eyes got a little big and a little excited there as he knew he had some room and never brought the ball in. Granted, that ball may be a little high for him. Kinnon only 5'7". A little guy. 145 pounds. The primary back, as we mentioned, Zach Love, but Kennan's in there now. A little more speedy. He's Love more of a power back. And so it's going to be third down here early on, and the Mustangs trying to avoid going three and out to start the second half. It's going to be Gotch out of that shotgun formation. Wide receivers on the far side. Sigler and Bagsby dropping back to pass. It's going to be Gotch looking on the far side over to Sigler. Gets it over to the defender's head and out across for a first down up to the 40-yard line. Just over to the defender's head. It looked like that ball was thrown right over possibly Dylan Moran, I believe that was over there. And again, we mentioned Sigler and him have a great connection going in this football game. And a huge first down for the Mustangs. Just underway here in the second half with Aquinas leading 27-7. 11.30 to go in the third quarter. This time wide receivers will switch it up near side. Sigler, Bagsby, far side, Rucker dropping back to pass. Hands it off to Hunter. He's met right in the backfield. All over it was Aquinas. That's the left end, Sam Kendra, the senior. Stops him in the backfield. He'll lose. About four or five yards on the play. Back to the 39. They'll give him a loss of three on the play. And it'll be interesting to see if Zach Love, we don't have any word if Zach Love's hurt or not, but he has not been out there to start this drive. Out of the shotgun again, dropping back his gotch. Now to the left side looking for his man, and hard. He gets it, he hauls it in, a nice hit, but a nice grab. Holding on to that football was Mark Rucker, the six-foot, 170-pound senior. 
And pick up a couple yards. It'll set up a manageable third down now after that loss on first down. As this team approaches right around, we'll say, the 47 yard line. Third and five. Near side receivers. Sigler and Bagsby. Far side mark record. The tailback still in the game is Hunter Kinnett. Going to pass it. Finds Rucker again across the first down marker. A nice little quick hit. And a first down again about eight yards on the play. So the Mustangs a little rhythm now. A couple of quick hits and getting Rucker involved. And don't forget about some of the speedier guys. Bagsby and Sigler on the near side because they'll take a shot deep. And now we're going to stop as a play here. We'll see what this is all about. No flags on the field. And both teams kind of looking around. And we'll get, they'll start the clock. Uh, not sure exactly what that stoppage was. Not penalty related, so still first and 10 from the 44 yard line of, Aqu of Aquinas. Josh will hand it off to Hunter up the middle. A quick guy again, we mentioned, and out across. A game about seven yards on the play. Hard to find them back there. He squeezed through a couple of defenders. It's definitely a change of pace back, and now Zach Love back in the game. They got both of them out there, so you got that option for some power. We've seen Zach Love now kind of playing that tight end position as well on that last play. But again, we mentioned he can definitely carry that football. So they've got both tailbacks in the game, but Love playing somewhat of a tight end position as Gotch goes out of the shotgun again. Now players looking at the sideline for a call as it's Sigler and Bagsby on the near side. Dropping back to pass is Gotch. Looking now for Sigler and overthrows him. Looking at Sigler right at the sticks as he was cutting towards the sideline, but overthrew him just a little bit. That's going to bring up a second and, actually, excuse me, bring up a third and four with a little over nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. St. Thomas Aquinas leading 27 to 7. 810 Varsity Football brought to you by Mr. Goodsense. Order Mr. Goodsense. Click, it's easy with Goodsense online ordering. Just log on to mrgoodsense.com and place your order today. Now the shotgun will be gosh. Dropping back here on third down, trying to lob it to Rucker. Let's see if they see he gets his feet in bounds. I believe he does. And a first down right around the 30-yard line. That's the third time Gotch and Rucker have hooked up on this drive. So a nice opening drive so far, but now we're kind of getting in that territory that the Mustangs have struggled at throughout this ball game, and that is getting close to the red zone and executing and getting points on the board. First and 10 from the 30. Near side receivers are Sigler and Bagsby. Far side, Rucker again, who's been involved heavily. Looking on the near side, nearly intercepted. It is intercepted. Clayton Henning coming up with a pick for Aquinas and taking it all the way up to around the 38-yard line. Oh, boy. A huge play by Aquinas. Mustangs again just cannot catch a break. Moving the football and another mistake. Aquinas will take over right around the 44-yard line. Trying to get the ball in. Koch, Dodge trying to get it in to Connor Erickson on that play. And really uh, nearly intercepted on the first look at it. And then on the second tip, it was Henning coming with a big pick. The senior also plays wide receiver, but he was a strong safety on that play. So we're going to go with two back set here out of the shotgun. It's going to be Paul Height. Hanging it off to Williams. Right side, he's got some speed out across the 50. Makes a juke. First down for Aquinas as he's in the opponent's territory. Yeah, he's got some wheels. We've seen it on special teams. Getting him involved now on the offensive side. And a quick first down for Aquinas. And a lot of times after turnovers, you see teams right away go for the dagger, go for that touchdown. Don't be surprised if they take a shot here when you got a Mustang defense that's a little bit down right now after the turnover. Three wide receivers, excuse me, four wide receivers, two on each side. Height drops back to pass. Here we go, taking their shot. We mentioned it. Oh, and he's got a man down for a first down. Austin Scherzer in more inside the red zone down to right around the 20-yard line as they take a shot there. Yeah, St. Thomas Aquinas. 
position, really, to blow this one wide open, already leading 27 to 7. At, excuse me, the 15 yard line. Two back set again, Martinez along with Nick Williams. Hands it off to Martinez, no. Hike keeps it, pitches it to Nick Williams now up the right side. Look at the wheels up the sideline and into the end zone. Holy cow, Nick Williams has got some speed going down the sideline. Hype fakes the handoff to Martinez, decides to keep it, and then pitches it out to Nick Williams and another touchdown by Aquinas and pinning the extra point. They could go up 34-7 to here on the home turf of the Mustangs. On for the extra point. For Aquinas is going to be it's like Declan Fogarty. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up and good. So St. Thomas Aquinas off the interception by Clayton Henning. Strike back and quickly. Didn't take long on that. Set up by a big completion. Austin Schurz right down the middle of the field to get him down to the 15-yard line. And then a nice run by Nick Williams right on the right side and showed us that speed that we've seen on the kickoffs. And it's 34-7. to 8-10 varsity football brought to you by Best Buy. Save hundreds at the five-panel blowout at the Lee Summit Best Buy. Just one day only, Saturday, September 17th. Come see the Blue Monkey at the Lee Summit Best Buy on Chipman Road this Saturday and save at the flat panel blowout. And the Mustangs in danger, really, of getting blown out here. On a fall night, you can, it's not officially fall yet, but it feels like fall here in Overland Park, Kansas. And not a huge crowd on him. We've mentioned it a couple times, but I've got to be impressed with Aquinas' crowd on there. And I would say if you look on both sides, it might be almost, if you take away the band, an equal amount on both sides. Joe Pyle getting set to kick it off. And the kick is away. Back deep again. Is going to be Darren right across the 20, trying to cut it back. Doesn't even get to the 20. Tackle right around the 17-yard line. That was Devin Warren on the return. Brought down by number 23, Brendan Knockbar. on the tackle there. Looks like on about their 17 yards. Start at the 17, and this is a, a crucial situation. We, we keep in this if already down by quite a few points here. You've got to get some points on this drive, and this one is over. There's no coming back on this. The way your offense has shown they can move the ball a little bit, but those mistakes, whether it's penalties, whether it's turnovers like on the last drive, you can't keep having those. Nearly gets the defender go off size, and they'll get him for encroachment. Sam Kendra, the left in, a senior, experienced senior, a lot of seniors on this defense. Looks like might get called for encroachment here. Yeah. Encroachment it will be, so five yards to the Mustangs. Five yard penalty makes it first and five. Ball up to 22. Out of that shotgun formation will be Gosh. Hunter Kinnon still the tailback. Two wide receivers on the near side, one on the far side. Rucker on the far side. Sigler and Bagsby on the near side. <laughs> Ten on the play clock. Hands it off to Hunter, trying the left side there. He's got a little bit of room and gained about five or six on the play. Ball number 35, Hunter Kinnon. Brought down by Hunter. Second down and about one. Second and one because of that penalty. So it's not third down, like I said. Second and one. About a center for the one of the few times this season trying QB sneak and trying to push that pile. We'll see where they spot him. It appears he's going to be right around that marker. The last time they went under the QB sneak was in the red zone, and it's a first down. For the Mustangs, QB sneak by Kale Gotch. For a first and ten for the Mustangs. So 7:21 here to go in the third quarter. A 34 to seven lead for St. Thomas Aquinas. And 
we'll get a stoppage of play here. Let's see what this one is. No flags. And they're going to try to reset that play clock that was all the way down to five seconds and never got reset as they're resetting the chains up here. We've seen that multiple times tonight. Out of the shotgun. Will be Gotch. Tailback again is Hunter. Sigler, Bagsby on the near side. Far side is Rutger. Ten on the play clock now. It starts to creep down to seven. Handing it off to Hunter up the middle and really not much there. Maybe a yard. He's heading right in that heart of that defensive line. The seniors up front, Eric Mason, a 5'9", 263-pounder. And another defensive tackle in Mason Berhinke, a 5'9", 269 senior. So second down, they'll give him a yard. Second and nine from around the 28-yard line, 27-yard line. Same formation, the same one we've seen throughout the game. The tailback still is Hunter. Dropping back to pass is Gosh. Got some time. Looking up, steps up in the pack and decides to take off. And he's going to be either be a no gain or a sack. We'll see what they call it there. And didn't have anybody open. Great coverage down the field for Aquinas. Mitch Sneed also out there, along with Will McDonald. Will McDonald, of course, had an interception earlier in the game. This is a defense that has two interceptions, both by the strong safeties, Clayton Henning and Will McDonald. So it's going to be third and eight from their own 30. 5.45 to go here in the third quarter. Gotch out of the shotgun formation. Two wide receivers on the near side, one on the far side. Ten on the play clock. Dropping back to pass. He's got a man in the flat. Instead tries to get to Rucker right at the sticks. And a first down and a nice catch. And a little shaken up. No, they're going to say it's incomplete. As he goes down hard and then hold on to it. I thought he had it. He went up and got it. Mark Rucker, and he's uh, maybe a little woozy coming off. And he'll head right to the sideline, fourth and eight. Rucker, who had a nice drive, a drive ago. And the coach of Blue Valley North, John McCall, kind of questioning that call, wondering if he had possession. But as soon as he went to the ground, it looked like he might have popped loose. I initially looked like a catch. And the rest will now meet about it. And uh, the coach trying to say the ground caused that ball to pop loose as he's pointing the ground, got on his knees there and trying to demonstrate what happened there as the wrestling out huddle. And we've seen a couple of plays tonight where after it's taken some, they decide to reverse a call after quite some time. This would be a long time to wait to reverse a call. Obviously in high school you don't have replays, but I don't know how you can go back and change now this lay. What, what changed during that, that position there, that time I should say. So we'll see. It was ruled incomplete, remember, on the field. And it looks like they're going to come over and talk to the head coach and McCall and keep it that. And I think you have to keep the call as incomplete. And they're going to bring on the punt unit. So the Mustangs are unable to get anything going offensively yet again. 810 Varsity Football brought to you by the Command, the Kansas City Command, powering the 810varsity.com top 25. Season tickets for the 2012 Arena Football League season at Sprint Center are on sale now. Call 855-KC-ARENA. So Corey Tobin will punt back deep for Aquinas as Clayton Henning and Nick Williams and Williams will receive it right around the 35. Bobbles it now trying the left side now cuts back to the right side out across the 40 out across to the 45 yard line and brought down right around there maybe the 46 and good field position yet again for St. Thomas Aquinas already leading 34 to 7. And Aquinas really can begin to, to run the ball quite a bit here. And really just focus on protecting that football. And that's really one of the only ways that you're going to probably see this Blue Valley North team get back in the game is the defense can create some turnovers because offensively they really haven't shown much in terms of scoring the football. Out of the pistol is going to be Paul Height. He'll hand it off. Up the middle, he's got a little bit of room. In about five yards is Eric Benson, the senior running back. Got a little spell, spelling Eric Luke Benson. Martinez. The ball in the Mustang territory. And in to the Mustang territory the there. And again, about six yards on the play. Five, 
Now the shotgun will be Paul Height. He'll fake the handoff, trying the right side, scrolling, and he's got a man. It's Williams, a nice move by Williams, cutting across the field, out across the 35, and down right around the 32-yard line. And gosh, we keep talking about that speed. He catches the ball, and then a quick cut to the left side, the near side of the field, and a first down for St. Thomas Aquinas. Paul Height hooking up with him. Let's stick with four wide receivers. Neil Haas trips to the left now on the near side. Along with Danny Reason and Williams. We'll hand it off to Vincent. No, the quarterback will decide to keep Paul Height. They didn't even catch him up across the 20 and down to the 15 well, yard line as he faked everybody nine. out there. Try, uh, trots down the near sideline. And a first down for St. Thomas Aquinas. Right down by number six. Right They're beginning to wear down this Blue Valley North defense. They've been on the field for quite a bit as their offense hasn't helped them out much here tonight. Out of the pistol will be Paul Height. Eric Benson, the lone tailback. Two wide receivers on each side. Williams and Haas on the near side. High snap, but nice job by Height. He'll keep it again. This time on the right side, out across the 10, down to the 5. Touchdown, St. Thomas Aquinas. Paul Height. Runs it again and again. Quarterback His fourth 11. rushing touchdown of the ball game. Ball height around the right end. And he goes on the right side of that line, taking the handoff to Benson, a 22-yard right. scamper, and shaking up on the play is Eric Benson, the running back. He hollowed off a little bit and getting some attention from the trainers. And that comes after another touchdown by St. Thomas Aquinas, the number 20 team in the 8-10 varsity top 25. Kicking the extra point will be Declan Fogarty. Good staff, good hold. Kick is up and good. So 41 to 7 lead for St. Thomas Aquinas here in EKL play. Looking to go 3 0 on the season. And Blue Valley North right now. It appears they may fall. I know it's only the third quarter, but they're well behind right now and really haven't shown a whole lot offensively as far as executing points, but they may drop to one and two if this keeps up. This would be the highest point, point total of the year for St. Thomas Aquinas as well. Joe Pyle will get set to kick it off. To Hunter Kinnon and Devin Warren. He's been a busy man tonight on kickoffs. And the special teams has really done a nice job of covering these kicks. For the Saints, you got to be happy about that as well because they've got some quick guys back there in terms of Hunter Kennan as well. Warren returned the last one and got knocked by out of bounds right around the 30. His Piles kick is away. He'll kind of squib this one. I don't know if it was intentional or not. But he picked up by Warren. Struggles to get it right at the 20. Now Trout cutting it back out across right around at the 25-yard line. We met by a couple of players. And it looks like we might have a player shaking up, kind of hobbled off. A little shaken up was Hunter Kinnon. He'll stay out there, though, Piers. And they'll start right around. Looks like they're going to spot at the 26-yard oh, line. 26-yard line was a first and 10 for the Mustang. So 3.50 to go here in the third quarter. A 41-7 lead for St. Thomas Aquinas. As Cale Gotch... We'll come out of that shotgun formation again, trying to get a man off the field quickly. Hunter Kennan, they had an extra man on the field. He was able to get off. Zach Love, the first time we've seen him back in that halfback position of the second half. He's there, split to the right of his quarterback. Far receivers on the field is Bigsby and Sigler. They'll hand it off to Love right up the middle. He's got a little bit of room, and again, about five yards on the play. Zach Love takes the ball up to about the 30-yard line. And gets it near the 30. 8-10 varsity football brought to you by Air Associates. Now you can live the dream. Learning to fly with Air Associates can be one of the most exciting, rewarding, and challenging activities you'll ever experience. You'll have the most fun you've ever had. Their special flight packages will make your training even more affordable. Visit their website at takeoffkc.com. As this pass out, out to Sigler, he's got a couple missed tackles there and gets across for maybe three yards on the play. That was Gotch yeah, hooking up with Sigler. Takes the ball up to the bring up a third down and about 
two yards. They'll call it a long one. It's a good long one. I'll say third and two here. Far side wide receivers, Rucker. Zach Love the tailback here. Looking at the sidelines are the quarterbacks. We'll hand it off to Love. Trying the right side. Met by a couple of St. Thomas Aquinas defenders. And we'll see where they spot him. This is going to be close. I think he's right Over at the sticks. We'll see if you know, depending on the spot here, we'll see where they spot him. And it's a first down. It so Zach Love goes off, off tackle to the right and picks up a first down for the Mustangs. And really, anytime he's got the ball, good things have happened for his team throughout the, throughout the game. But it hasn't equated the points as they trail 41-7, to 225 to go here in the third quarter. Out of the shotgun again, it's going to be Gotch. Love stays in. Near side receivers, Bagsby and Sigler. Dropping back to pass. Looking on the far side of the field, looking over to Rutger. And in his hands, but unable to cradle it was That's Rutger. Going for him right Parker. at the sticks, right at the 45-yard line, but it's incomplete. It's going to bring up a second down. St. Thomas Aquinas yeah. defense has to be pretty proud of the way they've played. Had a battle towards the end of the game. They gave up. They were leading big like this, but gave up quite a few points in the end. Trying not to do the same here this week. Dropping back is Gotch, looking for a man near the sideline. Well out of bounds. He's trying to hook up Pass is incomplete. with Lamont Hitting Bagsby. Bagsby really Lamont hasn't been able Bagsby. to get involved with this offense. We've seen Sigler. We've seen Bring Mark up. Rutger get involved. Even Connor Erickson. But he really has not been able to get many looks. That was one of the few times that he got a ball thrown to his area. It's going to bring up a third down now in a long 10. Zach Love will stay in at tailback. Wide receivers on the far side. Javante Sigler and Lamont Bagsby. Near side, Mark Rutger. Matched up one-on-one -on -one to your down. And a bad snap. And now just trying to make something out of it as the quarterback. And they're going to lose quite a bit of yardage here. Maybe a loss of about 10. Ball is recovered back. Looks like about the 23-yard line. Right around the 23. Three and a big uh, mistake there on the play. The center, Tyler Kratz, and the quarterback, a little miscommunication. Looks like it's going to be fourth and 22. Fourth and 22. A punt situation, obviously, here. Back deep for Aquinas, Clayton Henning and Nick Williams. The punt is up. This one, a nice punt high. Williams looking to get under it. Doesn't fair catch. He'll take it at the 40. Out across the 50-yard line, cutting back towards the middle of the field and up to the 45-yard line into Mustang territory. Great field position yet again for St. Thomas Aquinas. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And we're going to get a flag on the play and see what they'll call here. Legal lock of the back on the receiving team, St. Thomas Aquinas. They'll back him up a little bit. And they'll move him back into their own territory after that. A nice chunk. It looks like they'll move him back to right around that 39 yard line. And we're going to see now, unless it's just some type of wildcat formation, the backup quarterback in now. Paul Height not in the game anymore. We'll see if he comes back. But Austin Scherzer, the backup quarterback, a 5'9", 167-pound junior, now checks in to the game for Aquinas. A couple of new wide receivers. Evan Walsh now in, getting some youth in there. He'll hand the ball off. Actually, the quarterback decides to take it. He'll try the right side. Got a little bit of speed. Gain of five, pushing it forward. Past the first down marker and some more yards. Still going up to the 45-yard line. Walker, That's the backup, Austin Scherzer. A backup quarterback Scherzer. mainly plays wide receiver. Right in, takes the ball out over the 45. About the 46. And in at running back also. For Aquinas, again, a different running back in the game. Pat Spafford. That's his third on the depth chart. So a lead this big, getting some experience for some of these players. Joe Pyle, who kicks off, also in at wide receiver now. Out of the pistol, trying the left side now. 
Will he pitch it? Decides to pitch it late and blown up right in the backfield. Jake Brown read that one all the way. Nothing was there. And we mentioned Pat Spafford just getting in the game, and he felt that one right on his first carry. He'll head out of the game now. Joel Edwards will now check in for him. A lot of young players. Still the starters out there for Blue Valley. Devin Warren in that cornerback still. As we get about 13 seconds to go here in the third quarter, a 41-7 lead for St. Thomas Aquinas here on the road. Out of the shotgun formation. This time they will hand it off. Trying to outside now, bouncing out the outside. Trying to dodge around, still moving around. And makes some room and then fumbles the football. And it's down and picked up by the Mustangs. And this one might go all the way. Unless the linebacker can, the lineman can catch him. Touchdown, Blue Valley. And the crowd finally has something to cheer about here. A touchdown. We mentioned the new players on the field. Inexperience. It's your first action. A guy like Joel Edwards, you're excited to get the ball, trying to make something happen, and was doing an all right job at it until he popped up the football and picked up in a touchdown for the Blue Valley North Mustangs right at the end of the third quarter. A big defensive play. It's something to cheer about. Still trailed by quite a bit here. But as we mentioned, Aquinas gave up quite a few points in the fourth quarter last week. So that one scooped up one of the linebackers. It looked like it might have been Luke Reed. The senior, 5'9", 195 pounder, thought he might have been caught, but he only had catching him as a lineman, and he cruised into the end zone. And pinning this extra point, nice snap, kick is up, and it is good. 14 to 41 here. So the, since the first score since the first quarter for Blue Valley North. And that's the end of the third quarter. And that was a 43-yard fumble return for a touchdown. So the score at the end of the third quarter, St. Thomas Aquinas, 41. Blue Valley North Mustangs, 14. Varsity.com football brought to you by Factory Direct Appliance. Time to buy a new washer and drive. Need a facelift to the kitchen? Factory Direct Appliance has five locations around the Kansas City area, including the North Plant at 152 Highway and North Oak. Special financing available by Factory Direct and save at Factory Direct Appliance. Call 816-468-8344 or visit us at kcfda.com. And by Mr. Goodsense, $5 footlong subs are back at Mr. Goodsense. Seven great subs to choose from. Come see what fresh really is at Mr. Goodsense. So the home crowd, a little bit to cheer about. On a Thursday night, an earlier kickoff on Thursday night, being in a weeknight, kickoff at 6.30. 41 to 14 still, however. We'll see if uh, Mustangs try anything tricky here on the kickoff, but back deep will be Clayton hitting still, and Williams for Aquinas. And for those who just joined, Williams took one back for over 90 yards in the first half, his second on the season. And we've seen some exciting returns throughout the game from him. The kid can fly. And kicking off will be Connor Erickson. And the kick is away as the fourth quarter begins. A little squib kick, trying to keep it out of the hands. It hits one of the up and picked, picked up. up. A little bit of burst up to around the 38-yard line. And good field Best position yet again. 52, John Constantino. And John Constantino. Excited. One of the few times he'll get a return one there. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. And they'll call it right around that 39, 38-yard line. First and 10 for Aquinas. And Scherzer will stay in. We mentioned he came in for Paul Height. Paul Height looks to have the rest of the night off. And Scherzer, a junior, doesn't get a lot of action. And they'll hand it off. Now the quarterback, Scherzer, decides to keep it. He'll try to ride in out across. They got a first down and more out across the 15 in opponent's territory, about 17 yards on the play. A nice game. Pick up. He decided to keep it there. Almost gave it 
to his running back on the play, but decided to keep it in wisely. A nice pickup for him. Pat Spafford back in there. And as we mentioned, their last possession for Aquinas, of course, they fumbled the football, leading to a Mustang touchdown. So Scherzer and the Saints will stay in that shotgun formation. Trips to the right, near side of the field. They'll hand it off to Spatford up the middle, bounces off the tackle, got a couple yards, pushing Ball forward, and gets about five or six yards on the play, up to close to the 45, excuse me, 35 yard line. Run down by number 47. Carries the ball down to the 36. And the 36 is where they'll spot on that. A little over 11 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. A 41 to 14 lead for Aquinas. They'll go out of the pistol now. That's Scherzer, the backup quarterback. And Pat Spafford still the tailback. Scherzer will keep it, trying the right side. Won't pitch it. Out across the 30 yard line. And got more up to the 20. And tackled out of bounds. Or stay in bounds, excuse me. Right around that 17 yard line. Another first down, however, for Aquinas. And inside the 20 yard line as the clock continues to tick here. Right down by number six. And Spafford checks out the tailback and back in the man who fumbled that football, Joel Edwards. They'll give another opportunity here to redeem himself. First and 10 from that 17. Out of the shotgun again is Scherzer. Two wide receivers on the far end, near side. Takes the handoff out to his man and tripped up. A nice tackle, trying to get it out to Danny Reason, but he was tripped up by the defender for the Mustangs. A nice play there. That could have been a bigger game. But we do have a flag on the play as well. We'll see who this one goes against. A nice tackle on the play by Thomas Cora, a sophomore, one of the few sophomores playing varsity football and getting some action here as this one has gone away from his team a little bit. A 41 to 14 deficit. And we'll hear what the referee says here. Find out if it's on the same time as Aquinas it appears to be as they're moving back. Holding, Holding on St. Thomas Aquinas. So that'll back them up a little bit here. From the holding call, it takes the ball back to just inside the 25. First, about 17. Still first down here. Out of the pistol now is Scherzer. Joel Edwards, the tailback behind him. Still four wide receivers. Takes the handoff wisely, rolls out now. Thought about the pitch, instead keeps it, and he gets about four or five yards on the play, depending on the spot, right around the 20 yard line. Austin Scherzer. He's a backup quarterback, he's a wide receiver. Probably won't see him throw the ball for a variety of reasons. Team already up big and the fact that he just doesn't have a lot of experience. But he is the only other quarterback listed on the team's depth chart. Sure. Second and 13, under 10 minutes to go here in the ball game. Aquinas driving again. High snap. Taking the handoff now. Throws it out to his wide receiver. Wide receiver scoots past a couple of defenders, weaving in and out, and kicks up decent yard. It's still short of the first down, but it'll set up a manageable. Third down. That was out to Evan Walsh, it looked like. Yeah, one of the younger players. Takes the ball down to about the 13-yard line, looks like. So it's going to be third and about seven. Let's go, defense! So third down and seven. Third and seven with a little over nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Running right up the middle. And pushing forward. It's going to be close now after some second effort there. As some sprinkles, light sprinkles begin to fall here. As we mentioned, a little chilly night as fall approaches. A couple sprinkles down. As we mentioned, uh, a light crowd in attendance for tonight's game. I believe the ball carrier was 27. And they're going to measure. Edward? See, it's fourth down. It's like fourth down here. And they'll bring on the kick. Fourth and uh, less than one. Fourth and one. But uh, looks like they still are going to kick the field. They'll get some good practice. And the wind's trying to pick up a little bit here as well. So this will be an interesting and 
good experience here. They're already leading 41 to 14. A little over eight minutes to go. Dan Fogarty, excuse me, Declan Fogarty. Be a 25 yard field goal. For about a 25 yard attempt. Right around the left hash. Nice hold. Kick is up. And the kick is good. Fogarty, about a 25 yard good. attempt. With 804 for them. So a 44. Mustang 44. So 14. Mustang 14. For them. Declan Fogarty on the year it was one for two until then. And his longest was a 33, so that's not his longest. Another field goal for him. 8 10 varsity football brought to you by Best Buy. Save hundreds in the flat panel blowout at the Lee Summit Best Buy. Just one day only, Saturday, September 17th. Come see the Blue Monkey. Lee Summit Best Buy on Kingman Road this Saturday and save at the flat panel blowout. And really, since that first quarter, this one hasn't been close. A couple opportunities for the Mustangs to make it a ball game. Right before the half, they had a chance to do it and really weren't able to do it. And you can hear the band starting to rock here in the fourth quarter. A little over eight minutes, kick back. Receiving it is the Mustangs. That's going to be Hunter right across the 30-yard line, close to the 30-yard line. And that's where we'll begin. He might have been shaken up a little bit on that play as well. Ball carrier. And that was Hunter Keenan. And he is still down. I believe that's Hunter Keenan still down there. And the trainers will come out and take a look at him. It appears on the return, look at lower leg, possibly also the knee area there. So you hope he can recover, especially in a, a late game like this. And there's a score differential quite like this, 44 to 14. So you hope everything's okay with him. Hunter Keenan, a 5'7", 145 pound junior for this Mustang squad. He's now on his feet, so a good sign, but he will need some assistance getting off. He is hobbling off there, not putting a lot of pressure at all. No pressure at all, I should say, on that right leg. So you hope everything turns out Was okay for him. Return man and injured Mustang. Yeah, not a lot of pressure at all being put on that right leg. So some of that trainers and assistants will help him out, but his team will head back to the field offensively. It's going to be Kale Gotch back on the field for his team. And Aquinas has a couple of backups now coming in to play some defense in there now. Mitch Sneed. Also Joel Edwards playing some defense. He's also played some running back late in this contest. And he'll hand it off to Love and he's met right at the line and right there to kind of greet him. was number 20 for Aquinas, Bobby Moore. A lot of names we're not used to calling here. That guys second and third on the depth chart, at least for Aquinas. No gain, we'll call it second and No gain on that play. 7.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. A 44-14 lead for St. Thomas Aquinas, who came in at 2-0 and and number 20 in the 8 10 varsity top 25. A little break huddle here on a second and 10. Ball right around their own 29-yard line. Love will stay in that tailback. Far side receivers are signaling and bags. We low snap, fakes the handoff. Quarterback will keep it himself. And up across for a Ball game, maybe three yards on the play. And Kale Gotch. Over 30. We get up across the 30-yard line. About to 32. <laughs> That'll be third and seven for the Mustangs on their own 32. Third and seven now for the Mustangs. And considering the score, it's to see what they do if it ends up being a fourth down situation here. Under seven minutes to play. Two wide receivers on the near side, one on the far side, Rucker on the far side. Single back on the near side, Love the long tail back. And off the Love, he's trying the right side and he's met by a couple of big clubs of quite as long as Looks like number 59, Eric Mason in there as well. He's the tackle. Still out there. See more stuff playing late in this game. Looks like about the line of scrimmage will be fourth and down. Also and number 58, David Urban seven. in the mix. It's going to be fourth down. Uh, Mid-range 
yardage here, fourth and six, fourth and seven from the 32 yard line, and he'll bring in the punt team in this situation. As the clock ticks just under six minutes here on 810 varsity.com's broadcast of high school football. 810 varsity brought to you by Nick and Jake's. Real food, honest drink. Nick and Jake's, the proud title sponsor of 810varsity.com. Check out our promotions throughout the season on Facebook or on Twitter at Nick and Jake's. As the punt is away, it's off the side of the foot, bounces at the 40. And they're going to let this one roll and picking it up right there, right around that 35 yard line, and we're down it there. Corey Cobb and Punt is down. 35 yards. This one. 35 to go here in the fourth. And you look at the sideline of this move out team. Our coach is still coaching hard. And still, this is still a teaching moment. This is a team that came in again with the win. They just saw the successful year. Scherzer still stays in at quarterback. The backup again who came in for Paul Height. Height, an impressive game, four touchdowns rushing. They'll hand it off to the running back here, however, and maybe a yard or two on the play. <laughs> and they'll use a lot of clock here. Ball carry is number 43, Pat Stafford. And Pat Stafford back in there at the Game running back about. position. Looks All like kinds of different guys in the lineup time. now. You haven't seen most of the season. Nick Ross Diddler also in there now. Out actually at uh, offensive line position. Let's try the pistol formation now. And really trying to improve on some things they need to work on as they head into next week's game. And we'll talk about their next opponent here shortly after this play. Pistol formation. We'll fake the handoff. It's going to be Scherzer trying the right side. Got some room out across the 40 up to the 35, excuse me, down to the 50. And into opponent's territory. <laughs> Scherzer, Scherzer decides to keep it. Brought down by number 23. Next up for St. Thomas Aquinas, Blue Valley Northwest. Of course, Blue Valley North lost. Excuse me, was one win. It was against Blue Valley Northwest over this year. For the Saints. Aquinas looks to improve to 3 0 here tonight. And 2 0 in the EKL, which is very important, of course, come district playtime. 440 to go here in the fourth quarter. A 44 to 14 lead. Handing it off the middle for a couple more yards. It's Ryan Reese now in at quarterback. Jurors are even getting a playoff. That's number 12, Ryan Reese. Seeing some action. Pat Stafford getting a hand off on that play. Though. Four twelve to go here in the fourth quarter. And they're kind of just grinding out time here. And a few fans left here on the Blue Alley North sideline. Now the shotgun will be Weiss, the third string quarterback. Stafford, the tailback, using as much time on that play clock down to eight. They'll hand it off. Cutting back to the left side now, and he's drugged down in the back. Got a nice defensive play by the Mustangs. And it looked like that was Rick Franks getting in there, a sophomore, so a lot of youth on the field. Run this is good, you gotta be happy Frank. in terms of Blue Valley Mustangs. Franks gets a lot of playing time to begin with, one of the more talented players, but as a sophomore, getting some extended playing time tonight nope, with the increased score. Uh -huh, if Aquinas continues to run, they may be able to just run this one out all the way to the end, and let their quarterback take a knee. Still over three minutes to go, however in this game. Weiss again, still at quarterback. Third stringer, little hand off. No, decide to keep it running across the 15 you know, opponent's territory. Got a first down and more. Cutting to the sideline and taken out of bounds. Ball carry is quarterback, taken down. number 12. Ryan Weiss. Right around that 37 yard. Side, takes the ball down to the 30, looks like about the 37 where it's going to be a first and 10 so for the first Saints. Down the Mustang 37. For the Saints. Forty-four to fourteen as the clock goes under three minutes now. Next up for Blue Valley North. If you look at their situation, of course tonight against Aquinas, they're taking on Blue Valley West. They'll go on the road. But for Aquinas, they'll get a go home. A place they haven't been in a couple of weeks. Handing it off again. This is Stafford. Makes a nice move, tried to make another one, and dragged down and then a late hit at the end there, and a flag will come in late. Looked like his momentum was already going to him. They will throw a flag though. 
at Spafford. Yeah, looks like that flag's going to go against Gaudencio Montalvo. And there's a flag on the play. As he kind of dove on the player late, they had a nice play, but it's going to cost him at the end here. Personal foul. Late hit. And so a mental mistake there by the Mustangs. Personal foul on the Mustangs. And it gives a fresh, no set of, fresh new set of downs. Put the ball back on the 25-yard line of the Mustangs. So they're Mustang. all the way down to the 25-yard line on the Mustang 25. And you assume they'll just continue to run this football as they have this one in hand since about the start of the second half. Two twenty-five. Clock continuing to roll. After that time, or excuse me, after that penalty, the clock reset and rolling away here. Out of the shotgun is Weiss. Hands it off again, right up the middle, and hit maybe a yard or two on the play up front on that defensive line right there. It was number seventy-five, David Corti. Ball here is number forty-three. At excuse me, Nick Leeper, down number seventy-five. By number 95. Frank, of one, second and nine. So under two minutes now. Both teams still with three timeouts, but I'm going to assume that's how it's going to end. And there's no reason for either team really to need any use out of those. As Aquinas, for those of you may just be checking in late, number 20 Aquinas comes in tonight to move Alley North and puts on an impressive offensive showing the quarterback Paul Height has rested most of his fourth quarter, but he had four rushing touchdowns. As now the backup quarterback, Weiss, rushes and gets near that first down marker. Ball carries number and Aquinas, 44 Weiss. to 14, about a buck 20 to go here in this game. Carries the ball down to the 18-yard line, where it's going to be third and about two. And they'll bring up a third and two. About two more plays really away from ending this game. As Aquinas can either take a knee or just run this ball. And this one would be over. So Weiss will finish this one off for Aquinas at the quarterback position. Decides to keep it, tries the right side out across, gets maybe a yard ball or two on the play, if anything. Ryan Weiss. 30 seconds now as the clock really looks like it's going to be fourth and about down. one. We'll see when they start the play clock. They may not even have to run another play by the time they get this play clock started. It's down to 20. The play clock will start now, and they don't even have to run a play if they don't want to. That's that's going to do it. I don't think they're going to even have to run a play here. They don't have to. And it looks like they're just going to lock this one out. And that should do it. St. Thomas Aquinas. Will improve to 3-0 and on the season and 2-0 and in the Eastern Kansas League. Blue Alley 24, North Mustangs fall to Aquinas 44-14 on their home turf. Losing two games in a row after a nice win to open the season. And they fall We'd to 0-2 like to thank everyone for coming out and supporting the Blue Valley the North Mustangs. Club, we'd like to thank the cheerleaders. We want to thank you for and tuning in here on this 810varsity.com broadcast. 810varsity.com now brings live video streams for more than 25 KC Metro schools here. all season long. And, uh, now you can watch and Mustang. listen to all the action live on your computer, iPad, or phone, and of course live scores, rankings, and more. Live or archive, get the games at 810varsity.com. So from the Blue Valley Athletic Complex, St. Thomas Aquinas came in number 20 in the That's 8 Varsity Bowl, powered by the Kansas City Command, and they showed their ranking and they'll likely move up with a nice, impressive 44-14 win over the Blue Valley North Mustangs. I want to thank you for tuning in for Alex Gold here with the call, and thanks to everyone. We'll see you next week. St. Thomas Aquinas, football always on 810varsity.com. We hope you have a safe trip home.